For this first exercise, we're going to demonstrate how to take a set of data and structure it as a list. So what you're looking at in front of you is a set of student names and a test score. We have Raymond 92, Cynthia 83, Terrell 64, and so on. If this was an advanced exercise, we'd be looking at how to access this data from the file that it's stored in. But we haven't gotten that far yet, so we're just going to have to see how to enter this data manually into a list. So let's open up Python. Let's open the shell. And so what we want to do is we want to name this list something. So we'll call it grades. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take each name, store it as a string, and then store the test grade as a number or integer. Now what's important is you have to make sure that you do a couple of things. First, you have to make sure that each name is surrounded in quotes, either a single quote or a double quote. I'm using single quotes here. Then you also have to make sure that each grade is separated from a name by the comma. We'll have to continue this on the next line, and that's not a problem. Again, just making sure that we get our strings and our numbers correct, and that commas separate each one. And there's our list. So the way we can access this list is that we can assume that each pair is one record, if you want to call it that. So Raymond goes with 92, Cynthia goes with 83, Terrell goes with 64. So for example, if I want to see Raymond and his grade, I can type and then concatenate. Ah, but I get an error. The error says, can I concatenate string and int objects? I did that on purpose, partly because I need to start showing you how errors look, because you're going to be running into them as you learn Python. And second, I wanted to bring up a point that you cannot concatenate strings and ints. In some of the lessons of this exercise, I've used concatenation, but it's always been with groups or with strings by themselves. But here you see a problem that we can't concatenate an int with a string. So grade sub zero is a string and grade sub one is an int. So what we'd have to do is if we wanted to display these, we'd have to say grades sub zero for the name and then there's a function called str that then returns the integer as a string. And that's how we would pull that out. So if we wanted to see a different pair, we could say grade sub two plus string grade sub three, and we'll see Cynthia and her test score. And notice those are bumped right next to each other. I'm not going to get into how to separate them now. There are several different ways we could put a space between them. One thing we could do this, I'll go ahead and show you one example. We could concatenate the space right there. And that's probably the easiest way to do it, like that. But we'll be working with strings more, and we'll be looking at examples of how to format things later in the course. Here I just wanted to demonstrate how to create a list data structure and put some structured data into that list. But having done that, we actually bring up a point that needs to be made, is that this data is actually better structured for a dictionary, because we have the name and a grade. The name is a key and the grade is a value. So if we stored this data as a dictionary, then it would be much easier to retrieve a grade with a name than it was in the example I showed you here. So let's move on to the next exercise of this chapter where we're going to do just that. We're going to take this set of data and store it in a dictionary.